We're Sid and Mackie, and until last year, we were traveling the world, living out of our van, and racing mountain bikes professionally. But 2020, well, it hit us pretty hard. And now it's finally time to tell the whole story. In November of 2019, I came off my bike unexpectedly on a feature I'd ridden a hundred times before. I didn't hit the ground, but I pulled my leg out all wrong and felt a painful pull in my lower abdomen. I carried on with my ride, unaware that this little moment was about to derail my entire year. Over the next few days and weeks, the pain in my abdomen and groin got worse and worse. For a while, I tried to ignore it, but eventually I could no longer ride, run, walk, or even spend more than a few minutes standing upright. This pain went on for months. Everyone kept telling me I'd pulled a muscle and I just needed to rest. So I rested and rested, but nothing got better. So I spent the last like six weeks kind of just going like, something's wrong, something's wrong. And everyone like was kind of just like, it's a muscle strain, like that happens, that takes a long time to heal. And, um, you know, I never really, like, I, I think I knew that it was like, this is not what a muscle strain feels like. Like, I've been racing bikes professionally for six years. Like, I've strained a lot of muscles. Um, this is different. Like, this is not healing. By late January, I had sunk into a state of depression unlike anything I'd ever experienced in my life. I could barely get out of bed. I hardly ever stopped crying. Everything felt bleak and pointless. I saw multiple medical professionals and got an MRI. Nothing was wrong with me. At the same time, everything was wrong. Eventually, Mackie and I drove to Colorado through a giant snowstorm, no less so that I could get a second opinion from the experts at Boulder Biologics who specialize in difficult sports injuries. Totally just got recognized by a fan in the parking lot. I realized I'm wearing a fully maroon tracksuit, so that's cool. After a second MRI, I was diagnosed with a sports hernia, which is a tear in the adductor and abdominus rectus tendons. However, while the initial accident had caused this tendon tear, postural issues and problems from previous injuries compounded to create a veritable cascade of injury. I can hear it. By this point, I didn't just have a torn tendon, I had a nerve entrapment, SI joint dysfunction, and a host of other problems. Through an empty bottle, I can see it all so clear. All these broken will be scattered in the wind. Then the COVID pandemic hit. This outbreak could become a pandemic. We the death toll in this country surpassing 20,000. Have no approved treatments for the virus. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. It's hard to describe the feeling of dealing with a major injury and depression and then having the world literally fall apart around you. In many ways, of course, the pandemic and resulting lockdown gave me extra time to recover, and now I'm incredibly grateful for that. And heal my soul from the trauma we've been given now. However, at the time, since I was already struggling with feeling like nothing would ever be good again, well, the pandemic didn't really help. So much shit can happen, yo, it got me tripping now. Yeah, it's feeling different now. Feel like I'm zoned out, put my phone down, damn it's cold out. From March through October, I did two PRP injections, three diagnostic injections, one round of shockwave therapy, and two rounds of hydrodissection. 
In other words, a lot of needles. Felonies who've been locked since the 70s. You gotta pray for enemies with jealousy. They only feed off. Between these treatments, I slowly began to unbury myself from the fog and find ways to still be myself despite the almost constant nerve pain and my inability to ride a bike for longer than 10 minutes. I discovered a love of music. I helped renovate our shed into a bike workshop. And in June, Niner sent me an e-bike. I could finally ride trails again, albeit only for about an hour. At the risk of sounding dramatic, I don't know how I would have survived this summer without that bike. I am so thankful that e-bike technology exists and that I had access to it. And yet, the rage and panic I felt at losing my physical and mental health to such a stupid problem continued to boil just below the surface, easily ignited by a single negative comment or offhand remark. I found it difficult to read the comments on our videos or even be myself on this channel at all. But being this vulnerable this year has served as a reminder to me to always be kind. After all, you never know what someone else is going through, especially when you only see them through a screen. How many times had I been unintentionally cruel or said the wrong thing because I was so wrapped up in my own problems? Only to start it up and play it out again It's like a long dream You're on the wrong team Of course, struggling with my mental health in 2020 does not make me unique or special. I just hope we can all come out of this year a little bit kinder, a little bit gentler. I hope we can become better, not bitter. In late October, Mackie and I made the decision to move to Boulder, Colorado so that I could work full-time with Dane at Revo PT and Performance. Slowly, we have started the process of rebuilding. It has been neither easy nor fast, but we discovered that most of the big muscles on my left side weren't activating properly, and some major issues with my posture were making all of these problems worse. Your standing leg is contracting when you're moving out, but not at the time. Now, I am starting at zero, and oddly, I am okay with that, and even enjoying the process. We are essentially changing everything about the way that I move. You're kind of weighting your right leg more. I'm totally exaggerating, but... Only kind of. you're, you're, the deeper you get, the more so yeah. you're rotating your back just differently, right versus left. Never thought that you could fall for me, for someone like me, for someone like me, for someone like me, for someone like me. For you, can you see that I will drag you down? Here at the bar. It's not really like you can totally just force yourself into better posture. I think that's what I've kind of learned is it's like felt kind of guilty about not having, I don't know, I feel like we consider posture to be this thing where it's like just stand up straight. I think you're gonna start feeling better when you're doing this when you know your alignment and everything is 50% better 50% of the time. So that's not like, like it's not like it has to be perfect all the time to 
be way better than it was. It's just that even that is gonna take a while. Never thought that you could fall for someone like me. Never thought that you could fall. So you can see when you're shifting your weight. Yeah. That moving in between, perfect world. Yeah, when we start to squat, that's gonna be right in the middle. That is the torque moment at each of these joints. Bigger torque moment equals bigger muscle activation. So as you're absorbing that load, we can see one, the ground reaction force is getting lower. This resultant ground reaction force however, is getting lower as you use up some of that energy. But notice here, there's a little bit left and you're getting rid of that by tipping forward. Okay. Opposed to sitting the hip a little bit lower down. Gotcha. Never thought that you could fall for someone like me. Never thought that you could fall for me. Never thought that you. I'm so sore. Yeah. <laughs> I like, can't walk. <laughs> it's kind of nice because I haven't been like legitimately sore in like a year, but I'm also worried about like what's coming. And that is day 720 of doing nothing but hydrants. <laughs> okay, it's like day 20. 20 is still a lot though. <laughs> This recovery is not going to be fast, and I don't know what 2021 will hold for me. But if 2020 taught us anything, it's that none of us really know what's coming. All we can do is make the best of what we get. Cold. That land solution. Time to stand up and find a revolution because this is a fun. I will never be the same athlete I was in 2019 and before, but maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I will be better because I will finally treat my health like the enormous privilege that it is. Live loud, be proud, don't give in to that doubt. Stand out from the crowd. My gratitude is overflowing for the people who have stood by me through this entire year, especially Mackie, who has shown me what unwavering support truly looks like. And I'm grateful for you too, if you've made it this far. Thank you for watching, and thank you for being part of this journey. Oh, and happy f***ing new year. This is the fun part. Live loud, be proud, don't give in to that.